Hey, Shar. Hey, Kevin. Great to see you again. Good to see you too. Thanks for having us back, and welcome. thanks for the great help that you did with us at the little library that you and Tommy worked on. You're welcome. That was so much fun. It was so much fun, and the homeowners are thrilled to have it at the Atlanta Project. Yes. So, Makerspace, huh? This is your house here. Yes, this is Decatur Makers. Okay. We provide a space for the community to come work, to come and learn, practice their skills. We do welding, 3D printing, laser engraving. Sewing, you name it, yep. we got it. All right, and your role here in the space? Well, I'm the VP of the Board of Directors, but most importantly, I'm one of the woodshop teachers. So I teach kids as young as seven and adults as old as 80 how to use these power tools. So I'm teaching them skills, empowering them, giving them confidence that they can create anything, but of course, I'm teaching them how to do it safely. Awesome. Well, I am a full-grown kid, ready to be taught, uh, and this is what you've got in mind for us today? Yes. So, this is a shaker table. This is one of the things that I teach my students to make. Now, normally, tables can be complex, right? Mm -hmm. You have drawers. Yeah, that scares a lot of people. Which can be tricky. You have tapered legs. Also scares people. Exactly. But this is a great first-time project for anybody. And right. We're going to do it the easy way. So, prototype that you made up for us late last night. I appreciate that. Of course. And you've chosen for our material, walnut? Yes. I love walnut, and I try to source it locally when I can. I love the grain pattern, and when you put a finish on it, it just looks so amazing. How do you want to start? Well, I think the first thing we need to do is cut this board down some so we can get our legs started. I want to make sure that the edge is exactly perfect, so I'm going to use what's called a planer sled and run it across the table saw to ensure that I have one flat edge so that I can then use that edge up against the rip fence to cut two inch pieces for my table legs. So you've got students. What yes. sort of things are you teaching them on the table saw? The most important thing to learn about the table saw is safety, mm -hmm. right? There are so many things that can go wrong. So we need to know where do we stand? Where do we put our hands? Then we talk about blades. There are so many different types of blades, right? That you can use rip cut, combination blades. Then we talk about the rip fence. We talk about other accessories like the miter gauge, push blocks, and push sticks. Nice. I'll use a tapering jig, which basically makes it very easy for me to create tapers on the table saw. Generally, this could be a complex task, but either a store brought jig or a shop made jig is perfect for this job. Now I'm going to cut the wood for my apron. I'm using pre-milled lumber. Pre-milled lumber is great because it's surfaced on all four sides, and this is perfect for projects if you don't have a lot of power tools. The walnut that I'm using today is a half inch thick and five inches wide. I'm going to rip this final piece in two places, and this will serve as the two rails and the drawer front for the table. I'm using a pocket hole jig to make pocket holes in the walnut, and this is a great way to join projects. It doesn't require any fancy joinery or anything, and we'll have it put together in no time. Very nice little pockets, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put two on this side, and then I'll do two on this side, and then we'll start on the next board. Got a couple of boards to do. Now it's time for us to assemble this table. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing I have is some dark colored wood glue, which works perfectly on dark woods like walnut. Nice. 
So what we have here are two spacers that are a quarter inch thick. And when I put my apron on top, this will allow me to have a quarter inch reveal on my table leg. Clever. And then we have these sacrificial pieces that I'm gonna put on the side here and that will prevent my wood from marring. And then we're going to use some pocket hole screws. Right. Now, these are specific for hardwoods. They're fine threaded screws, and this will make sure our project doesn't go anywhere for years. It helps when you have left-handed friends. <laughs> All right, one last side. These strips of paper, they'll give us just enough room to make sure that our drawer can slide in and out. That way we don't have to worry about measuring a gap. Clever. It's time for the drawer. And they'll need to be a little bit thinner then our apron as the drawer will need to slide in and out. I'll be making a dado cut that will accept the plywood bottom on our drawers. So with these drawers, I am not going to use glue. And one of the reasons why I don't use glue is because glue will restrict some of the movement that may happen in the drawers over time. It's very humid here. I've noticed the humidity. Yes. I'm using one inch screws to attach these together. So what I did was I took some off cuts and I made some drawer guides. So it's basically like an L bracket here on the table. And then I'm going to attach it with some screws. Okay. Well, the last step is putting the top on. Okay. And I actually worked on this top last night. So all this is is three pieces of walnut. Each of them were about five inches wide and I glued them up together. And you can't even see those joints, which is terrific. Yes, and then I ran it across the table saw on all four sides at 35 degrees. And then I took my block plane just to chamfer the edges and clean them up. Nice. And then I can put it on top of the table with these figure eight fasteners. And the reason why I'm doing that is because it gets humid here, it gets cold here, and as you know, wood moves. So I wanna allow enough movement in the top when the seasons change so I don't have any cracking. You put the wooden knob on the drawer, which is a great shaker feature. And how about that? Wow. It fit. <laughs> that is good. That's a very handsome looking table. Yes, it did turn out pretty good. And what are you thinking about for a finish? Well, there's a really nice finish that I like. A good oil base black finish on here. Oh my gosh, it would make the grain look amazing. Terrific. Well, Shar, I tell you, I can see why some people could be intimidated by the project. Tapered legs, a drawer with rails, having to join the top, but I think you did a very nice job sort of simplifying it and making it very accessible. Thank you. It was great to have you in the shop with me today and work on this project together. We appreciate you having us back. Thank you. Of course. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.